Hello, my fellow scientists. It is Sunday, February 25th, 2018, and I want to talk to you about the iron battery. For those of you who are new here, I have been working for the last year on an all iron battery chemistry with an iron anode, an iron salt cathode. Last week, I used a cell I constructed two weeks ago, which you can see links to the construction in the description. I used this cell filled with a sugar iron complex solution. So it's an iron sulfate that's been solubilized beyond its usual capacity with a whole bunch of sucrose table sugar and found that it was remarkably reproducible so you can see that the coulombs in basically matches the coulombs out and it does so for many cycles so i was very happy about that but during this week as i tested it further i found that that changed so as you can see here the charge and discharge gets shorter and shorter and shorter so the amount of charge gets less and less and the whole thing compresses and you can see that in the coulombs in versus out here not good. We want to see that sawtooth, nice, even amplitude all along. We don't want to see a big drift either up or down. My usual assumption when this happens is that the iron is being aggressively consumed by oxygen, and so I tried to take the iron out of the cell to examine it and discovered that it had, in fact, corroded off. <laughs> so uh, deep inside, there was still a lot of iron, but the interface between the iron lead and the iron anode had corroded. And that's kind of a runaway problem that is to say if, as the problem begins it makes itself worse so you get a little bit of corrosion that increases the resistance that means there's more voltage right there at the connection point more voltage means rapid corrosion which means even higher voltage and so on the whole thing runs away it corrodes right off so that's not good how do we solve it well we could use well for one thing we want to inhibit corrosion but that's probably just oxygen in the system and there's not much i can do about that until i can seal the whole thing in a big oxygen free jar or box but until then i can use a corrosion resistant lead wire which i've done i've put a chromel wire connection down into the iron uh, steel wool compartment and that seems to be working quite well you can see the results here uh, it's charging and discharging as i speak and hopefully next week i'll be able to report that it's still going with the same approximate capacity after two weeks of operation so it's not a perfect solution but i think it gives some hope that we can get a a good amount of iron salt into that cathode space and that it can be solubilized by one of many additives i'm not committed to sucrose by any means uh, definitely i got a comma that it could polymerize and make some sort of <laughs> iron caramel that's not ideal uh, but until i can find something that is ideal uh, for the time being, this seems to be a pretty good option, at least so that we can test further as to what is going to work and what's not. So if you like that kind of thing, tune in next week. We talk about the all-iron battery every week right here in the Allen Lab.